Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Didn't you date some porn stars? Well, I wouldn't don't know if I'd use the term date. Um, no, but I did. I've hooked up with some of the guys. And? I didn't plan to. It just happened. Were they like I, as I never, great as you imagined they would some be? Some were great. <laughs> one some was were, so bad. Oh. Dude, I tell a story about one of my act. Okay. I could tell it on here, but. You don't oh. have to name his name. Oh, I can't. I won't. Okay. I wonder if he'll hear this. I never Probably. told this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there was one that I thought was hot mm-hmm. and we kind of started talking and um I don't know he wrote me all the time and like we kind of had a lot in common mm-hmm. so I started thinking about maybe like going out with him right mm-hmm. and then he's like yeah let's kick it um let's go get food or something I'm like okay so he's coming to my house to get me and then he asked if he could come in for something like to take a shower because he just got off work or something I don't remember he has to come in like, I got some other girls pussy juice on me can I just take a shower exactly real quick? exactly and then he came in and then um and then he got he took a shower and then he just came out like naked <laughs> and then I was like didn't you want to go get food and he's like I just want to eat your ass oh my god <laughs> and it's I like a fucking porn scene I know did he realize that he was off work this guy was like I felt like we were shooting a porn from the minute he You're walked like, in my the camera <laughs> I was like is this really happening but then honestly part of me was like I was kind of trying to get over someone he is really hot and I was kind of curious and I never have random hookups ever I mean mm-hmm. in my life I've had like two times I've met a guy and fucked him that day that's mm-hmm. it so I was like you know this guy obviously doesn't want to date me, but fuck it. Maybe I should just, like, like do it. Like, why not? You know what I mean? Like, if Michael Jordan wants to play basketball, you're not like, go home, Michael. Like, you play. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this guy, has good, this guy has good skills from what I've seen on camera. So I decided to do it. So we start hooking up, and I'm just not into it because I don't like him. You know, if you don't like someone, yeah. it's hard to get into it. Yeah, it doesn't matter how hot they are. Yeah, I mean, he's, dick he's hot. He has a great dick, but... Anyway, so we hook up, and then, um, <laughs> and then like during it, he's like, he's like, I want, I want you to feel like a porn star. Let me come on your face. Like he said what? that to me. Oh my god! Yeah. And then in my head, I was like, I just put makeup on. Fuck, I don't really want. To let him. <laughs> but then I was like, all right, I don't want him to go tell all the other porn stars that I was like approved. <laughs> so I was like, all right, you can. So then he did. And you know what that motherfucker did? Halfway through, I had my eyes closed, of course. Yeah. I don't want to get this shit in my eye. And then halfway through, he's like, hey, look at me. He yelled it at me, and it startled me, <laughs> so I opened my eyes, and then he came in my eye. In my eye. And that shit fucking hurts like a bitch. <laughs> it's so acidic. Like, people don't realize how bad it burns. It really burns. It's unbelievable. It's like having acid in yeah. your eye. Yeah. I've and I'm like, I'm like this, it, there's swimmers in it, and like your eye <laughs> has like a hole in the middle. They're like looking for the hole. It was a bad scene, right? And then after he, after he does that, then he looks at his watch and he goes, 19 minutes or whatever the fuck, however long it took him. And then I go, you timed it? And he's like, it's a habit from work. I always time my scenes. And I'm like, what the fuck? Did he switch positions like every three minutes? He switched a few <laughs> times. I mean, it was just, I honestly. Did he open up to camera? Did he fuck you sideways? <laughs> Summer is here and Manscaped is here to help you level up your full body grooming game. Their lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it is guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts. And if you want to use it on your chest hair, it actually has different settings so you can get the perfect length, whether or not you're the kind of guy who likes to be a little bearish or maybe actually wants a bare chest, literally. You can get all of this inside the perfect package where you will find the crop preserver, an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer, as well as the crop reviver, a testy toner that is designed to give you a pep in your step. If you subscribe to the perfect package, you will get a blade refill for your lawnmower trimmer delivered to your door every three months. So what are you waiting for? Make this your best and most hairless summer ever. 
Go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. That's manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. I mean, honestly, I really felt like he felt like he was performing. Like I started looking around like, is there a camera in here? Like, so afterwards, though, this is the best part. Afterwards, he's I go into the bathroom, like kind of cleaning up. My eye is so fucked up. And then he's like, hey, I'm hungry now. Let's go get food. And I'm like, all right, maybe maybe he does want to date me. He just does this backwards because he's a porn star. Like he fucks first and then dinner. I don't know. So I'm like, yeah, okay. okay. I don't like to fuck on a full stomach because it like. Neither do I. It hurts your, it's not good for your erection. I don't apparently. like to fuck on a full stomach either. Yeah. If I know I'm going to have sex, I don't eat all day. Yeah. Anyway. You don't so. want to like fart on them. No. Jerry, that's the worst. No. You never know what's going to happen in there. Anyway. Sometimes you just pretend it's a queef, but it's not. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> At least I do. <laughs> Well, so because that's okay, that's possible. That's hot. But, that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> so then this gets better. So then we go to he takes me to Chipotle. That's where he takes me Ugh. for food. And then this we get to the front of the line, and he goes, "Hey, uh, I'm a little tight on cash right now. You think you could get this? <gasps> yeah." So then I bought him his burrito because I didn't want to make it like a, a big deal in, <sighs> in, in Chipotle. So I do this on stage. I tell this story on stage because I basically say it was like my rock bottom moment. Like I paid a porn star to fuck me with a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> and then it got even worse because then my eyes started to like swell shut while we were eating. And then he was like, what's wrong with your eye? It's kind of gross. Like, what's it? And I was like, fuck you. You came in it. It's like having a miscarriage at the fucking Chipotle. Like, it was so bad. So anyway, needless to say, I never went out with him again. But my favorite part, this all happened, by the way, like so long ago. So like right after I hosted the Avian Awards. This was like, what, last January or whatever. Last January, a year and a half ago. So I haven't seen him since. And then like... He hit me up randomly, like maybe a month ago. He sends me a text and he's like, hey, um, what's up? We should we should kick it. And I wrote back, what are you talking? I haven't seen you in a year. Last time I saw you, we had sex. I bought you a burrito and I never saw you again. Why? Why are you texting me out of the blue? And he's he's like, hungry. He needs another burrito. I know. (laughs) He was like, well, um, I don't have any, like, I'm not tied to anyone anymore. Apparently he just broke up with somebody. He's like, I'm not tied to anyone anymore. And I've just been reaching out to old friends that I like hanging with. And I go, what part of this relationship seems like friendship to you? Like we haven't (laughs) talked in a year and a half. And he was like, oh, okay, I get it. And I was like, yeah, we're not really, this isn't fr- like, that's not friends. You fuck once and I buy you a burrito. I'm like, the least you can do is send me a Chipotle gift card. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that. Oh my God. That's amazing. But I wish him the best. You're going to have to tell me who it is afterwards. You know, what's funny is after you, I have a porn couple coming and one of them is a male porn star, but I'm pretty sure it's not him. But if who? it was, it'd oh be my God. really fucking funny. It'd be awkward. <laughs> Are they both in porn? Yeah. What if it's one I slept with? I don't think so. Can I get out of here before they arrive? (laughs) I don't think so. They're engaged and they've been together for a while. So they definitely didn't just break up with somebody a month ago. No, but there's one that I kind of dated for a little bit. And I can almost guarantee you. If they're engaged, it can't be him. I'm pretty sure it's not. First of all. Who even gives a fuck? I don't think that he would pull something like that. He's got more class. No, it wasn't this guy. It was a different. The guy, the porn guy I dated was a different guy. I don't know if I should say dated, but we went out. But like, this many other times. guy was a porn star. Yeah, the, fu- the Chipotle guy. I fucked up. Yes, Chipotle guy was a porn <laughs> star. Um, sorry. You like how like that applies to like anybody in porn? You're instantly. It's a porn ridiculous. Star, you've done like two scenes. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It would be like if I had one line on a soap opera, and I was yeah. like, I'm a soap star. Like, it's hilarious to me. My friend Dom Marrera, who's like a legendary comedian, um, would get so angry because the porn guy that I like kind of dated or whatever, he came to see us at the Vegas Laugh Factory and he was backstage. And Dom didn't like him because he just didn't like the way he was sitting. <laughs> Dom, Dom is like, he's always sat with his legs like spread way open, like he's airing his dick out all the time. <laughs> and I was like, maybe he was. But then, uh, but then I would always, whenever I would talk to Dom about him, I'd be like, so... The porn star said, and he would always stop me and go, he's not a star. I mean, I haven't heard of him. He's not a star. He's like, he's a working stiff. He would call him a working stiff. <laughs> <laughs> he is the best. That's man. not necessarily mm-hmm. untrue. Some of them are stars, but. Yeah, some of them are stars, but, but uh, a lot of them are not. No, but that guy, that guy hates me, so. 
<laughs> you'll have to tell me who it is after the show. If he's coming in here, I need to make quick exit. I can That's guarantee awesome. you. It's he hates me, him. and I know for a fact his girlfriend also hates me. So I <laughs> fucked up a little. I fucked up. It's his fault, okay? There's a porn guy I kind of was seeing, and then apparently he had a girlfriend, and I didn't fucking know. So I talked about him on my podcast, but not by name. I never said his name ever, but I yeah. gave away enough information to where, like, if you're in porn, maybe you could figure it out. Yeah. And apparently his girlfriend listens to my podcast. I didn't know. So his he called me all pissed off because his girlfriend found out we were hooking up because of my podcast. And I'm like, that's not my fault. I didn't know you had a fucking girlfriend. So we had like a big thing about it. And then, you know, he doesn't like me very much because of that. But that's not my fault. I didn't know. It is not your fault. I'm ending, I'm ending relationships. He you called are. me. He was like, do you know what you did to my relationship? And I was like, what relationship? Our relationship? What relationship? And he's like, my girlfriend. I was like, oh, fuck. He was like, did you talk about me on a podcast? And I was like, oh. Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the perfect package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.